You know, when I look at Africa and I look at her in the continent, in the context of how attractive she is, another word comes to my mind called globalization. When we talk about globalization, you talk about globalization as if it were a new word. It is not. Africans were once globalized as a commodity in the slave market. We were sold everywhere in the world. That was globalization. <laughs> that was globalization. Then we were globalized again through colonization. Then we were globalized again through neocolonization. Now we are being globalized in the context of opening our markets. It is Mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere who in one of his many enlightened moments said, when I hear the Europeans saying that we should open our markets in the name of globalization and they say that the rules are the same, I laugh, Mwalimu said. And he said, it is like a boxing match. The rules are the same. But you don't put a heavyweight boxer and a lightweight boxer and say the rules are the same. <laughs> it is murder. <laughs> Allow me to be melodramatic. You imagine the United States of America with a GDP of anything between 14 trillion and 15 trillion is now entering into a bilateral arrangement with Lesotho, <laughs> whose GDP is two, two billion. And you say, the rules are the same. <laughs> it is a joke. It is murder. Because the revenue that is generated by the city of Los Angeles alone in one day is more than the GDP of Lesotho. So we are being told to open our markets and when we opened our market, you saw what happened? Our textile industries died. The large textile industry that we knew about in Kaduna, in Nigeria, died. Our cotton industries died. Our sugarcane industries died. Our waters, even water nowadays, water, 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 water. Dasani, Coca-Cola gives us water, water. You go to hotels in African countries, the water that we drink has the standardization, not this one. This is from UCC. But this is the exception rather than the rule. This is the exception. The rule is water, Dasani sitting in Atlanta, Georgia, determining what water we take, we of the middle class. <laughs> Making Africa work is my subject. <laughs> what, will we, what will it take? It will take our combined effort. But there must be an enlightenment of a totally different character. You know, when I think about Africa and I think about her often, and I ask myself, Mother Africa, how will you be a hundred years from today? And I remember the great Sudanese poet, al Faituri writing about Africa. He says, oh, Mother Africa, how are you? <laughs> Will you be great? You, Mother Africa, where you are rebels, have gained power and rebuilt and they have destroyed what they rebuilt. Mother Africa, will you be great? You, Mother Africa, Faituri asks, you the home of great rivers, will your sons ever fish in your rivers? Faituri asks, you, Mother Africa, 
whose belly is laden with all things known as natural resources will you ever give meaning to them fituri asks oh mother africa are you waiting for god or mother africa i believe that africa can be made great again but remember i said that africa took the view that she could grow regionally that is where i went on a tangent now i come back so the east african community was there south african development community was there we had comesa we had egard we had we have ecowas we had central african organization we had the maghreb we had the sahelians all these attempts have been made and somehow africa is still punching below her weight then i look at the different sectors so that we are better able to appreciate what africa can be and i believe that africa can be great i believe that africa is capable of looking at our agriculture because if a people cannot feed themselves they cannot be at the dinner table of civilization today africa cannot feed herself here in ghana they love rice they produce a little and import most <laughs> here in ghana they love ketchup but i suspect they import some here in ghana they love chicken they produce some but i suspect they import some in nigeria i suspect they love meat and i suspect they import some they love rice here in ghana i know they produce cocoa and they love chocolate but the chocolate they make they don't like very much they import chocolate from 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 switzerland <laughs> so until the day that we begin to like what we produce so that we add value i look forward to the day when the greatest chocolate making factories will be here in ghana and the next will be in togo and the next in cote d'ivoire it can be done which calls into question what are our universities of agriculture doing are they involved are they included in the agenda of making africa again and i'm saying that history has demonstrated that when people decide to work in agriculture they can actually do something about i remember so very vividly in your own malawi when president mbingu wa mutarika took power he took the view that he could improve agriculture in malawi he took the view that he could produce enough maize he took the view that malawians could do it and you will agree with me they did it it was done in malawi why can it not be done now i remember so very vividly those of you who are from bukina faso in 1983 when thomas sankara took power he took the view that the bukinabe could feed themselves and within five years bukina faso could feed herself it can be done i know that right now i remember so very vividly in zimbabwe when president mugabe took power and even before then during the first five years mugabe's government was capable of producing enough maize to be consumed in zimbabwe and enough cotton to make clothes today as i speak to you now the zimbabweans are under threat of starvation what happened it can't be done in zimbabwe and i believe that it must be done if africa is to work Africa can work in agriculture. Africa can work in innovation. I'm very glad that in the last one year in Makerere Uganda they have come up with a solar powered bus. Ugandans can do it. I'm very glad that in Nigeria only last week they unveiled a car that is made out of hydrocarbons. Nigerians can do it. I'm glad that in Morocco now they have the largest uh, solar plant in the world it can be done I'm glad that in my own Kenya they now have one of the largest wind farms which generates power it can be done 
I'm glad that during the president of Akufuado, Ghanaians have now abandoned one of the words they used to have in their vocabulary called doom. So I'm glad. <laughs> in other words, if you look very keenly, there are things that can be done. And I'm suggesting to us that in order to do these things, we must ask ourselves how it can be achieved. 